Okay, this is a test of the heat bed uninsulated. Before I install the insulation, I want to get a good baseline. This should be under five minutes. We're shooting for 110 degrees Celsius and start. Starting off at 23 degrees. This really shouldn't take long. This has got a, like a really nice heat bed on it. Um, let's see if I can move around the camera without screwing up everything. Here's the build plate, 200 by 200, 24 volt. I'm going to set up a free ghetto, and if I back off any further, I'm going to lose all resolution. So I got some. I think they'll see it anyway, but I just uh, ordered online from eBay some ceramic insulation. Uh, it's good till like, I don't know, 1300 degrees Celsius continuous. So I wanted a safety margin in there. Um, as you can see, I'll show it to you again. We have a little bit of time, not much. That's an acrylic bed. There's not many acrylic parts that came on this thing. That's one of them. So I don't really want it to warp. I, you know, eventually I'm going to replace it. I might just build this whole thing bigger. And I don't want to spend money on an aluminum carriage if I'm going to make it bigger. So I plan on installing this stuff. It's one inch thick, so it might be a little too thick. I got to see how it compresses down. I got to cut the shape. Uh, this is Super Wool Plus. And that stuff's supposed to emit less fibers than some of the other ceramic fiber insulation on the market. Um, I really don't find it to be much of a risk, though, because it's not a very big piece, and it's going to be fairly well clamped down. So I think for what I need it for, it's going to work great. So, I mean, we're already at 82 degrees Celsius, and it's been 2 minutes and 15 seconds. It's going pretty quick. Um, so we'll see how long this takes, and then I'll install the uh, insulation, get that all cut up and placed in there. Hopefully, it's going to be thin enough where I can get the screws back down because I got about enough space for three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to have to crush it a little bit to get it to fit, but you know, it's, it's a little fluffy. Um, and I hope it kind of takes out some of the z-axis oscillate, the y-axis oscillation, because I know a lot of people are just putting cork right underneath the bed, and you still have that little bit of space there. And I don't know, I feel it acts kind of like a lever, so it's going to sway more. Eh, it might not be true, but that was kind of my thinking for it. Um, I'm starting to smell that glue stick heating up a little bit. Look at a little bit on that. Um, that's definitely roasting warm right now to the touch by hand. And I mean, what are we at? 3 minutes and 25 seconds. And we have 8 degrees Celsius left to go. I don't really see it being a problem reaching this number under 5 minutes. But we'll see. It's definitely slowing down though. I'm sure if I put a piece of cardboard over this or something, or enclosure or something, it'd be quicker. Um, but I really don't plan on heating the bed up to 110 degrees very often anyway, either, though. Um, I picked up some nylon. I ordered that. Oh, wait. We're almost there. We're almost there. 108. 109. And... 110. All right. So I have four minutes and nine seconds. So that's not bad at all, all things considering. I'm going to shut this off now. There we go. Yeah, no, I, I'm very impressed with that. That's, that's beyond roasting. Um, definitely hot. I, I picked up some nylon. I want to print with that. Uh, I also and I'm putting in an E3D V6 hot end. 
Um, and I finally figured out how to get into the firmware. So I'm going to work on all that stuff. So I will get the installation installed. Okay, so I got the uh, ceramic insulation installed. Yeah, there's some air gaps and stuff. I, it's not as fluffy as I was hoping. Actually, it's a little more fibrous than I was hoping to. There's a chance I might not even use it. Um, well, maybe just a little bit of tin foil on the bottom or something. I don't know. This has to really impress me right now to uh, keep it going. Oh, let me get my timer ready. So we had four minutes and nine seconds without it. So let's see what we can get this time. If I can figure out how to get this thing. Now that's a damn cooling fan that's dangling right now because I have the whole top end of this thing torn apart. All right, and 110 degrees and start. Now I've been watching some videos online of people doing crazy stuff with the ceramic insulation, like holding it in their hand and just putting a blowtorch in and against it and and the heat's not going through it. Um, at, at regular room temperatures, it's not as efficient R value wise as uh, as say uh, fiberglass insulation, but once you start getting you know over a hundred degrees Fahrenheit, um, the thermal conductivity of fiberglass just makes it insane and it actually gets a lot worse. Uh, so at these temperatures, this is a better material for an insulator than fiberglass. Um, our values don't really account for that. Also, this is supposed to be somewhat thermally reflective, like your infrared barriers or whatever the hell. So that might help some too. Like I said, I mean, this thing really going to impress me to make it worth it because it's kind of messy right now. Um, I'm kind of worried about getting that dust all over my barons and you know, fan blowing the stuff around. And honestly, it's really not not impressing me right now. We're at 70 degrees and I'm in at 35 in. And we're kind of looking like it, it was without the insulation, so... I don't know. We'll see. It's 75, minute 45. So we'll see. Um, other than that, I gotta do a little modifying to my uh, my bracket up top. Get the new E3D V6. Luckily, I had a clone in there. And from what I've seen out of STL files of the mount itself for the V6, I got a I got a mount that works. So at the very worst, I should be able to get it set up and printing to make a better mount. Because I want to rearrange my fans and stuff like that. Um, but we'll see. That's coming. So we're getting pretty hot right now. We're at 2 minutes and 38 seconds in. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really that impressed. In fact, I'm not even sure if I'm... I mean, no, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to see much of a change. Well, maybe. But we're at 3 minutes now. And I kind of said, you know, if I saw three minutes to heat up, this would be worth it, but yeah. we're at 106. Let's see if we can make it in three, 10 more seconds. Can we hit there in 10 seconds? All right. 3 minutes and 32.39 seconds. So it looks like we saved about 30 seconds off of heating. I don't know. I'm probably going to pull it off. 
I don't, I don't really think that this is worth it. Um, I guess I could tape up the edges. I mean, it's kind of putting a lot of stress on that acrylic uh, on the mounts. Um, I mean, looking down, yeah, you can see a little deflection there. And I mean, that's kind of not good. There's a little bit of an air gap there. I really don't. I don't think once once you hit these speeds, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, it's the um, aluminum itself that's really slowing me down, and uh, not really anything else. I got my wires back here. My wires don't feel incredibly warm. Um, they're a little bit warm, but like lukewarm, you know. I, I don't really see a problem with the with the wiring. The wiring seems great, actually. So, I think, judging by this, I am going to get rid of that and clean all of the residue that it left behind off of everything. And maybe see what I have to uh, just put over that acrylic to protect it from the temperature. So, yes, this stuff works. I'll power this down. I don't think it works well enough, and also, I don't know how long it's going to take for this thing to cool down. That's what I really want to know. I mean, this might add minutes to the cool down time. So, all right, end test. All right, final test for the night. Uh, I removed the insulation. I put a piece of cardboard on top. I'm kind of interested to see what this is going to do. Um, let me see if it's did this go autofocus? Come on. Come on. No, you're not getting it. Yeah, good enough. So we're gonna see what this does. Let's see if we can improve on our time any. And this is super easy, so let's see what happens. This might make more of a difference in insulation on the bottom for two reasons. One is that heat rises, and the other one is that the bottom PCB is silicone semiconductor or insulator or whatever you want to call it, and aluminum, well, they make heat sinks out of it, so it kind of makes sense that it would radiate heat easier. And you know what? I didn't even time it with my phone. So we're just going to have to wait for it to heat up. And I will roll back the minutes. And I will post the findings in text on the screen in the final model. But we're going to see what happens here. It seems like it's going fairly smooth. Um, can you wait for a minute and find out there? So that's going to end my testing so far. I do have a meter showing up tomorrow. Um, I want to see what the resistance of this heat bed is because this thing is sweet. You know, I'm watching all the ANET reviews and stuff like that. And they're talking about taking an hour to get up to 110 degrees or 100 or not even hitting 100 and all these problems. And uninsulated, I'm hitting that no problem. So... There's definitely uh, something pretty cool going on with this thing. I just want to see you know, how much I'm gaining by adding a piece of cardboard on top. <clears throat> so, you know, we got to be around two minutes in. I got to admit, it's rising pretty quick. Um, I don't know, maybe it just feels like it's going quicker. I notice it really slows down with the other two tests once we hit 100, though, so we're going to see what it starts doing around 100. The cardboard is kind of lifting a little bit, probably because the bed's warping. And that's probably something I'll look into by adding glass. But for now, I'm just going to put my hand over it to kind of hold it more in contact. 
I mean, I feel the heat through the cardboard, that's for sure. And this thing definitely gets hot. And see, I mean, now we're starting to slow down. It doesn't help very much. And we're starting to stall out some. There's a hundred. So I don't think I'm going to beat the three minute and thirty second mark with just some cardboard that's really starting to bow now. Um, but still, it's, it might be helping. I'll crunch some final numbers in the end of it, and we'll see. Wait. 109. And stop. Alright. I'm going to crunch some numbers, and you will see it in the text right now. Thank you for watching.